Hey guys. Hey guys. This is uh, the RMG Halloween special. Number three. And we're here to talk about a few things about a game. Kind of beloved to all, but maybe not quite so much to some people, but other people like it just the same. Yeah. Anyway, Jay, let's take this Halloween bash off. Start with some talking, bud. Alright. Happy Halloween, guys. Uh, today, today's, softy, today's game is Resident Evil 4. Available on GameCube, Nintendo Wii, PS3, Xbox 360, and the PS2. Yes, yes, yes. Control is a little bit better, I'd say. Yeah. You can actually control the guy. Yeah. And it still keeps to its roots. For it, sure. It doesn't alienate its audience, that. That's right. So. Anyway, let's get to the game, shall we? Yeah. Mwahahahaha. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is War Pat. Killer J. And we're here to play some Resident Evil 4. Yeah. And holy fuck, look at these uh, angry villagers, them fucking assholes. Yeah. Both. They're fucking retired at them guys. Definitely. I think I think they need to fuck off a little bit. Yes, they do. Anyway, you're playing on you're playing as Leon S. Kennedy from the Oh Leon! Yeah, he's from the from the second Resident Evil game. Yeah! Isn't he isn't he doesn't he know uh what's her name there? Uh the one from Code Veronica. Claire Redfield? Yes, that's the one. Does he know her? Yeah. Are they brother and sister? Uh, that's Chris and Claire are brother and sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember now. I'm not much of a Resident Evil fan, but I know a little bit about it. Yeah. All I know is that from Resident Evil whatever to fucking 3, the controls sucked. And now 4, they come up with a little different control scheme where you can actually walk around without stopping to turn around. Yeah. Which is pretty good. So, this game was released on the PlayStation 3, PS2, yeah. PC twice. Oh, PC? You serious? Yeah. PC oh, right on. PC twice, uh, Xbox 360, and Nintendo Wii, Nintendo Wii, and Nintendo's GameCube. I wonder what it was like on the Nintendo Wii. Well, it was actually a pretty good... Uh, How were the graphics? Were pretty, they in HD? They are pretty good. Pretty good hey, for Hey, the one. Wii, do they use jacks and an HDMI? They use, they use uh, like, a component or something. Oh, okay. But That's pretty neat. Yeah, he was a few good games for the actual for Wii. Wii U doesn't got that that much. Well, the Wii's got a few good games. I mean, there's a black and white game where you have you're this guy with a chainsaw. Mad World. Yeah, that uh, looked pretty good. The blood was red, but everything else was black and white. Okay, uh, you're Leon Kennedy. You have to go around and save the president's daughter Ashley, which is like a comp, which you have to save her. Basically, you have to save her. From uh, from the villagers and those crazy cult guys, and you have to. This kind of reminds me of uh, a part of San Andreas where it's all hillbilly town. Yeah. Doesn't it? Only darker. Yep. And more uh, mysterious. We also would like to say. Uh, what else would I like to say is, you got a sniper rifle, you got a shotgun, a handgun. Oh, you just blew his head clean off. You got a machine gun. You got a rocket launcher. Do you have any like hand weapons? You got a knife, you can use the break stuff. Can you, uh, do you got an axe or anything? Chainsaw? Well, the guys have, some of the enemies have chainsaws, but they're hard to kill, though. They're ridiculous. I bet. So, uh, what I would like to say, uh, happy Halloween, guys. Uh, this is going to be the first out of three reviews for this Halloween special. And, and in my opinion, I think this is our best Halloween special yet. Definitely. Hopefully the uh, our followers agree. Hope so too. Uh, anyway, uh, I would like to I would like to say uh, Capcom did a good job with this. They still had their horror elements and had a modern control scheme, which is pretty cool too. Yeah, 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 yeah. And another thing about Capcom is they weren't soft back then. No. They didn't go soft and sell out. Of course Holy so. fuck! He's still coming at you with no head. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. It's like it's hard. Fucking, and they don't look like zombies either. They're like, uh, low, they're like infected villagers. So they have shit inside them. Yeah. They have like, there's a certain part in the thing, they have like this plant-like thing on their head there. Are you serious? Yeah. What, what is that you gotta shoot? That's an emblem, and uh, a ribbon or something. It's like a medallion. What happens when you shoot it? You, if you get a medallion, you shoot like 10 medallions to get like a special weapon. Oh, nice. 
Yeah. What weapon's that? I'm not too sure, but it could be a cool weapon that might be help you out there. Holy uh, fuck, what the hell is that? That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, those are the real infected. Yeah. Those are like those hardcore infected, eh? Like, Definitely. Where they got like zombie syphilis. <laughs> Syphilitis. Yeah. <laughs> or fucking zombie AIDS. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. So, uh, anyway, graphics are pretty good. I'd, I'd give it a fucking 10 out of 10 for old school graphics, like back then, to make a game like that and have perfect scenery and perfect everything, even the wood looks real. Yeah. But the only thing I don't like about this game so far is that when you shoot them, there's no bullet holes. No. Which they should have added, because they had the technology back then. Yeah. They had a quick time events, which what Resident Evil 6 was full of them, but this revolution... What's quick time events? Like you press certain, like you press, like you press a certain amount of buttons, you, uh, it triggers a little event. In the game, that's what I. It's, it revolution, Revolution Four revolutionized that, but they, but they put that in too much in games, which is ridiculous. Oh, is that that? Is that those times you're about to be attacked? You gotta press Y or X to yep, block, and that's you what it is. The right time, and yep. then, yeah, they do put that in too many games, especially PS3. Definitely. Xbox are guilty of it too, but PS3 they do it a lot more. I know. Especially the God of War series, they're really guilty of that. Yeah, definitely God of War, man. Yeah. You're like, oh, press triangle, press square, press O, press oh, X. Oh, yeah, you pressed all those buttons and you put a hole through your Gorgon's head or whatever the fuck they are. Whatever you want to call them, a titan or whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, the wolves are pretty creepy. I, what, what, I, story's pretty good, gameplay is pretty good, controls are good, the sound and audio is really good for this Holy game. fuck! Yeah, that wolf is crazy, man. He's eating your face, dude. Yeah, like a bat salt zombie. <laughs> Holy fuck, they got they got infections too? Yeah. Jesus Christ, what is an infected? Besides your character. Besides your character and a few other characters you meet along in the story. Oh nice, you meet people. Yeah. So it's got some RPG elements. You meet you meet people in the cutscenes, you talk to them, you have to see. There's some the bosses are Is there any Easter eggs in this game? Not that I know of, but there's quite a bit there's like you save with typewriters. Just like the old Resident Evil, you can save with typewriters. You don't have to save what, uh, you don't have all save, it's just a typewriter. And that's how you save a game, you save, you're in the middle of chapter. Imagine right? this, you're walking into the Resident Evil land or world or whatever, and then all of a sudden you come across an old school Resident Evil 2 box. Yeah. And you pick it up and it does something. That's what I mean by Easter egg. You should. They should have stuff like that, eh? Yeah. Some